Hey everyone, SDM Kahuna back again, and today I am dabbling into the World of Tanks open beta, which has started this weekend on Xbox One. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you've probably seen that I do play World of Tanks on the PC, so I was always kind of interested to see what Wargaming had done with this, especially since I'd heard some interesting things that the console version was getting that the, the PC version doesn't. So let's have a little look see. See what they put in and what we have and what they have and why the not just the same game. I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this. Yeah, it's strange. But anywho, so we've obviously got the, the basic menu system right off the bat. The the welcome splash screen's kinda cool with the, the recent updates. Kind of similar to the splash launcher on the PC version. You know, you got your latest news, updates, links, stories. Don't forget that link to the store. You know, that's always hugely important. Now, once it splashes up the, the garage, I do quite like the fact that, you know, Wargaming will put a little bit of thought into this and giving you a raft of information right off the bat. Uh, the garage is the exact same as a premium garage in... The, the PC version where the tank models look quite nice. Oh, good lord, the medium one. <laughs> good lord, tractor. So, yeah, as you'd expect, your, your swathe, you've got every nation's tier one tank. I have a locust, though, which is quite nice. And this took me quite a bit by surprise that I'll probably cover that in another video. But platooning seems to allow up to four players, there's only three on the PC. And you have a bot training mode as well, similar to what you get in World of Warships, but you don't get that in the PC version. What was quite interesting about that is, I know I kind of cut past that screen I added that kind of badly, my apologies. Uh, in the training mode against the bots, well, you don't earn silver or XP or whatnot, it still costs you to repair stuff, so that's kind of an interesting choice. Now, the tech trees are, for the most part, identical. I didn't really see any glaring differences between the, the PC counterparts, and I didn't really foresee why there'd be any difference. The nations you'd expect are there, Russian, Germany, UK, France, Japan, America, and China. And one thing i got to say right off the bat that is a little bit annoying is the fact that well, I don't see any way to link this up with my Wargaming account on the PC. I spent a lot of money on that, I have a lot of premium tanks. I'd quite like to have access to those across both platforms, but I can understand the last thing they want is a whole bunch of new people on the console jumping in and then rolling in. It, it would just destroy matchmaking until the communities build up, but this is obviously going to be linked with the uh, the 360 players as well, so, you know, you've got people who have been playing that for over a year now. I don't see how that's going to make any difference, but... Yeah, I must admit, I did find the navigation of this a little bit different. It's, it's, it seems to be like I only have one team member from a tank. It's like, well, the life tractor has a couple of crew spaces. Uh, navigating through the consumables and the upgrades and things like that was a little counterintuitive. I'm sure it's one of these things if I actually took two seconds to sit and read what the damn prompts were telling me, it would make perfect sense. But I thought, sod it. Let's jump in. Let's see how it plays. So... I tell you what, this is one thing I really like right off the bat, is the fact that on the splash screen for the, the loading section, it actually tells you how the damn ammunition types work. I'm sure nobody pays the blindest bit of attention to this, but you've got no excuse for not understanding why HE shells say they'll do 400 damage and then only do 60, or 20, or whatever. You know, it, it at least... Tr this is trying to explain a bit more of the mechanics. I did try the training to see how it handled it. This actually feels a bit more like driving a tank. Now, I was blown away right off the start. Rain. We don't get rain in the PC version. And it's quite a nice effect. It's dripping down the camera. And it's like, man, do I feel cheated. Right off the bat, it's like... We've got burning buildings, which look quite nice. Um, we don't get that mines on the PC. This, I absolutely love. I love this turret camera. The, the This kind of... That, that won me over instantly. It's, it's a stupid little thing just to put the barrel of the gun in, but it's such a nice little addition. Now, one thing I think we can see from this gameplay is there's a few people in this game who obviously played tanks before, and they are the people who are running for the hill. 
but I don't think I've ever played mines on tier 1 in my entire life. Obviously people have discovered the Calmer Rose. Oh, we've got a first spot. Now there's, there's a couple of things I'm going to point out as we go along. Now firstly, if you notice the teams, there's only 6 on ours and 7 on theirs. So matchmaking, a little broken. But we're off to a good start, our, our man up there, getting the first kill. It's like, ah, the medium one. Ah, damn, that's a rock. Now, I hadn't paid that much attention. I couldn't find the reload button. I've set everything I thought would be obvious, so I just spent the shells and get the clip reloaded. Let's go to the other side of the rock, see what we can see now. Man here is doing pretty damn well. He's picked up two kills. We're off to a flying start. Unfortunately, he drove that T1 out there. Well, I've got this FT by the side. Now, we've got the the battle damage or the battle progress ribbons that have finally come into World of Tanks and the PC. Kind of saw those first of all with uh, World War planes and World of Warships. They finally... Now, this was one thing I really liked. If you look down by the tank infograph in the bottom left-hand corner, no need for six cents. It tells you when you're detected. And again, I still hadn't figured out what the reload button was. Now that's three for two. Well, let's go finish this guy off, shall we? There's my first. So four for two. We're looking quite confident here. What could possibly go wrong? Well, we can have people drive right towards enemies they can't see. That's always a good start. So I'm going to go and do some Spotty McSpotterson. Now I know that I have six cents. This should make scouting a hell of a lot easier. I gotta say, it's like the the modeling isn't as detailed as it is on the PC, but there is some nice texture work, and the, the lighting effects are pretty good. I have to say, the the console version of this is more than palatable. So obviously, my boy down the ridge line, I can't believe it's telling me I can't penetrate an NC thirty one from this range. It's only two hundred eight meters. Oh yeah, he hit his tracks. That's a good start. Turret, yeah, go on through. Now, if you notice as well, there's also like a ricochet indicator as well that pops up next to the uh, tank class indicator above it. That's quite a nice little addition. There's some nice little crap. Oh, now I notice I've been spotted. Oh, crap. Yeah, let's fall back, shall we? Let's not throw away all our hit points. Uh, okay, we seem to have lost another guy. Now it's uh, two versus three. Oh, I've broken contact. He's still shooting. A I like the tracers as well. I I'm saying I like a lot because there's some things I'd love to see in the PC version and the fact I can actually see where the shells are originating from Wargaming, if you're listening, bring that into the PC version it would stop so many complaints about the invisible tanks now, for anybody who doesn't know the, the, the way spot mechanics work in World of the Tanks is your tank has a view range, okay? a physical range which it can detect vehicles at and every tank in the game has a cam camo rating so Certain things affect the camo rate, Oops, set them on fire. Those are, A, it's base value to begin with, whether you're in motion or whether you're stationary and whether you're behind any cover and if any of the contact points on your tank can be seen. Which is why when he goes out my view range, he disappears although he's in the open. Getting that NC-31. Oh, getting impatient. Reload. Oh, he's turning. Oh, damn it. But yeah, we can see his little mate firing his shells up. Christ only knows where he was aiming, but I think he was taking a, a rough pot shot of where I'm at. Oh, and now I've realised I'm on my own. Excellent. No pressure then. No pressure and no gun depression. Nope, I'm not going to throw away the, the spot. Gonna think a little tactically about this one. Now, there's one thing I haven't really touched on as yet, and that's how the tank feels when you're driving it. It actually feels suitably clunky. Now, it's very, very different from the sensation of driving it when you're using a mouse and keyboard. I've been playing tanks for near enough three years, and I'm very familiar with snapping my turret around, switching my view and everything. I, I, I can, you know, the key press is a muscle memory now. But you see there's a couple of occasions where I'm trying to turn the tank and I'm turning the wrong direction. It's because in the console version at least, when the tank's moving forward, it's still in a forward gear. So just because you've pulled back on the stick and want to turn, the tank's 
got to slow down and change direction and move in at reverse before the, the tracks will actually start turning the way you expect them to. And that caught me out a few times, I'll be honest, but it's a nice feeling. It actually feels... the tanks feel a little bit more weighty. And as a result, you know, it's a... Uh, it's a nice little balance. I wouldn't say I prefer it overall to the way it plays on the PC, but... It, it's certainly a well thought out touch. I don't think you could introduce it into the PC version now, too many people would complain, but... You'll probably see it here, it's like when I'm going down, I clip this rock and I go to reverse and then... I, I don't know, because I'm actually turning the right way, but I haven't gone into reverse yet to get around it. So, yeah. A nice little thing. So, okay, I've clipped the guy who's going over the hill. I'm assuming... I assumed at this point he was going to try and flush me out. He probably thought I was still on the ridge. But I know his support is still kicking around. And he's gone for the cap. Okay, this could be interesting. Now, this was a bit of luck. Oh, and he misses. Oh, okay, so it's one we've. It's one. One we won? One v one? That's all to play for, so. I know I'm probably still spotted. I'm hoping I'll have despotted by now and I can maybe jink him into thinking I went the, uh, the riverbed route. Of course, chance would be a fine thing. I'm starting to feel like my 50% crew and lack of horsepower I'm getting a little nervous about getting back for the cap if I'm being honest that's a little tense it's all to play for got three quarters of my health he's got three quarters of his health this guy's clearly played tanks before this could go either way so place your bets people how do you think this is going to play Am I going to pull it off? Is this guy going to nail me? It's a nail better. To be continued in the next episode of Kahuna Plays World of Tanks on Console. No, just kidding. We'll show the rest of the footage now. So I'm thinking, right, okay, I can, I'm can. i thinking I can get lucky and I can use the bush. I can hopefully spot. Yes, I've seen him, but I didn't realise at the time I'd been flagged as spotted. Oh, that frontal armor's going to give me issues. My uh, tinfoil frontal armor on the LOL tractor. Isn't going to save me. So we're half and half. We're trading. I'm not going to go head on. But at least I reset the cap. All I had was AP. I didn't have any PCR. Cause I, well, it's tier 1. Why should I need to load APCR? So let's redirect. I know he's behind the rocks. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping I can cover this ground without getting spotted. Yep, there's me picking up the forward and reverse through the mangroves. It feels like it's capturing a lot quicker. It's like it's 90 seconds, exact same as a single tank cap in the uh, the PC version, but when you're the only one left and you feel like everybody's watching, the pressure builds. So here we go, closing. That's got to be a proc spot, yep. So he's seen me as well. Which way is he facing? Which way is he facing? Oh, yes. No! That <laughs> shell didn't kill him. And then I absolutely rinsed the clip. I didn't realise that holding the trigger on auto loader would actually... I, I should have realised, but I, I kind of twitched. It's like, it's half, I've got the hit points. There we go. Ah. Oh. Tense, very tense. But yay, a victory by any other means. So, nice little splash screen on the victory. Gives a nice kind of recount of what you've done. Badges earned. Still can't believe that wasn't a mastery. I would have thought four kills in a lull track. But lull track on a beta would have been enough for... 835 base experience would have been enough for, uh, for a mastery, but apparently not. But anyway, that was... Uh, I have to say, it's the exact same game as the PC version, but it feels very different. So, if you're a World of Tanks player and you've got access to a 360 or an Xbox One, aside from the fact that you look like you'll have to rebuy everything you ever want to play again, it's probably not a bad idea to give it a whirl. Nice little change of pace from the uh, the PC version, but, you know, sound off in the comment section below. Tell us what you think, you know. 
are you a diehard World of Tanks fan? And this is a this is a pox on the the face of World of Tanks because you know it's not the PC master race. Who knows? Are you a console gamer and you absolutely love it? But anyway, I've been SDM Kahuna. It's been fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.